Bless you. Good morning, Cedar Grove. Good morning, ladies. Good to be back in the house of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to give God the praise for allowing us to get here safely. And just give him the praise and tell him how much we love him and thank him for bringing us through all week long yeah. from harm or danger. We just want to bless the Lord and we just want to say, Lord, just thank you. Thank you for allowing us to be in the midst, Lord Jesus, and keeping us covered under your, under your blessings, Lord Jesus. And thank you for grace, giving us grace one more time, Lord Jesus. We just love you and we just, just want to tell you, we just want to express how much we love and care for you because that's what you didn't do for us. What we don't love ourselves, you still there for us. Looking over us, Lord, and making sure that we are okay, making sure that our family is okay. Yeah. Making sure that we're not out on the streets of so yeah. Lord Jesus. Yeah. We got a roof on our head, food on the table, and transportation, and that's good enough to say, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. thank you, thank, thank you. Because you don't have to do that, Lord. Yeah. But you love us so much that you just there for us. Whatever we need, whatever we ask in your name, Lord Jesus, you provide us with yeah. we just love you. And we just want to give you the highest praise today, which is hallelujah, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. Just thank you for bringing us through, Lord Jesus. Thank you, and thank you, Lord, for looking over our families, Lord, our kids, Lord Jesus. The world, there's so much going on out there, Lord Jesus. But yet you still have us here, Lord Jesus. And I just want to say thank you, because we could be dead in the ground somewhere. But Lord, you gave us one more day of grace, and we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. We bless you, Lord, and we praise you, Lord. Continue to stay in our lives, Lord Jesus. Continue and just show us, Lord, how to how to pray and walk with you, Lord. That's what we need, Lord, because we just want to be there with you. We want a home to go to when we leave this home, Lord Jesus, and we want you to accept us in your house, in your blessings, Lord, under your roof, Lord Jesus. And I just said, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, I tell all this in your precious name, Jesus. Amen.
business that we have in it this morning. We praise God for those who have never been in our midst and also for those who have come back. We know the word of God will inspire you to return and the word will encourage you this morning as well as us. You are welcome to help praise God in spirit and in truth. Lift you up the name of God. We thank you and please know that you are always welcome to worship with us at Cedar Grove. That is my announcement.
broken and on the way. Amen. God is getting ready to do greater and more blessings are on the way. And guess what? You don't have to wait till Christmas to get it. I wish somebody could help me this morning. I said you don't have to wait until December 25th. Christmas can be Christmas can be when you walk out these doors. Walk out the door, and you never know what God has for you, and that's why you gotta always. The Bible said, "Watch and pray." I'm watching. Amen. I'm praying while I'm watching, but I'm showing up watching. Never know when God is gonna show up. How many know when He does show up, He will show up? Amen. 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 We thank God again for each one of you being here on uh, this. Morning. It may be foggy on the outside, but thank God that the sun is shining all the time on the inside. You ever been on an airplane and leaving out of a place that's nice, and then you get to a place where it's dark and gloomy, and, and, and turbulence come, and the pilot said, we're we're, we're experiencing a little chop now, yeah, but what we're going to yeah. do is we'll go up, we're going to find a place above yeah, the chop. Yeah, yeah. And while that plane is rocking and rolling and everybody's looking around, <laughs> the, the pilot is already charted the course and saying, if it gets bumpy here, we got another route we can take, but we're going to just go up a little higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that's the way the Lord does us. Sometimes life is choppy. And you'll have turbulence and you'll have bumps along the way. But as long as Jesus is the captain, we don't have to worry. Because the captain said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Sometimes he got to take you up a little bit higher above the clouds. And you get above the clouds and look all around you. The clouds are still below you. But it is smooth sailing. Sometimes he got to give us we get some smooth sailing. Amen. Stop thinking that life is always a problem. Hallelujah. And it's always some, oh, you see some people, I don't know if you ever run into people that every time you see them, you say, oh, I know it's a problem. Hallelujah. And you look at their face when you get there, they get ready to dump all the problems. Sometimes you got to learn how to go around them. Yeah. Yeah. Not that you avoid them, it's just that I don't want my peace disturbed today. To a place of peace, and I don't need that to be disturbed. I need to have, I need to have some smooth sailing where it just can be me and the Lord talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Don't talk to everybody about your problems because they got problems too. Yeah. Talk to them and they say, "Child, you know, the other day my back hurt, and yeah, yeah, I went to the doctor, and the doctor said my toe was hurting, and I went and I tried to get some food, and." And the, and the line was long at Popeye's trying to get that one little chicken sandwich. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have not seen Sister Brian no chicken sandwich I'm ready to die for. I hope you all saw what happened in, in, in Maryland. Somebody got killed over a chicken sandwich. And, and, and I finally got one. I didn't wait in line either. I finally got one. I was not overly impressed. Because it's all, it's, it's just chicken. And I know how they season the chicken. And, and the problem was the bun. It wasn't the chicken, it was the bun. They ran out the bun. And I said, well, it ain't no Hawaiian or King of Wine or Hawaiian King or whatever that bun that bread is. It wasn't one of them, it just was a big bun. <laughs> And, and I sat there one of the first times that I, I really sat there and chewed on this and I was just trying to find out exactly what is it that's causing and creating this wave that's people losing their mind. And I 
found myself at the end of it, and I still said, what is this? That everybody's so just enamored over this piece, over this tune. What is it? You know, it would be different if it was, you know, McDonald's gives you a, a platform. You know, and, 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 uh, a Big Mac is to be patties. Secret sauce, pickles, on a sesame seed bun. So now you know what you're getting. It's a sesame seed bun, but it's still a Big Mac. So I was, I was looking to see if there was any sesame seed on the bun. No. I was looking to see if there was any special sauce or something. No. And, 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 I, and I looked and I got to that last piece and I said, what is that? That this just this rave about a chicken sandwich. <laughs> so the other day when I was coming down Jefferson and, and, and the Brea, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, Popeye's on, 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 on that corner. Amen. And um, so me and two uh, 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 my friends from NAACP were riding, and I said, it's just a shame. Mm. And they looked and said, uh, one of the preacher, he said, man, they'll line up for a piece of chicken, but won't line up to go to church. If you don't have sufficient parking, folk will leave and go somewhere else or go home. Yeah. But they were standing, they were sitting in their car in line for hours over a piece of chicken. I said, Lord, what's wrong with us? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Lord have mercy, Jesus. Where have our priorities gone? I know that's right. I mean, it, you know, uh, a piece of chicken as opposed to your salvation. It, 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 is, it is amazing to me that people will sit there that long and wait for a piece of chicken but will get upset if you tell them to wait in church for any, any other time. I mean, you know, they want church to be like 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 a, a jiffy quick in and out, like a car. Yeah. Yeah. Let not stay too long. Oh, Reverend, he's talking too much this yeah. morning. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they are sitting in line for a piece of chicken. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Lord bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Just something to think about. I, I, find, I find it not only amazing, I find it a lot of times comical. Yeah. I, I sit there and I just watch people. Yeah. And, and, I, and I watch. And oh, that was just the line to get in the drive through right? I forgot to tell you about the line that was inside the store. I, 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 I thought that they was giving away chicken. They was telling me something. Yeah, yeah. It was packed. I mean, packed inside. That Popeye's on the bread and Jefferson was packed. And I was like, I, I said, Reverend, they must be giving away the chicken. He said, we give it away Jesus for free and they won't come. Chicken. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about some. He was, I was kind of, you know, getting kind of, kind of heated about it. Yeah, yeah. And, and the worst part about it was we were stuck in the light. <laughs> we were stuck in the light, and so he looked at, look at that, look at that, all them people, look at that. They, I said, it's all right, nothing. Yeah. No, man. They were sitting in line all the time for a piece of chicken and won't even come to Jesus. Maybe they are not going to come to Jesus moment after they get their chicken. Anyway, uh, so you have to find some humor in life. And I can find that in it. Because I heard about it and I saw it on the news. Yeah. But to sit there and just watch, watch yeah. and, and then you see people get mad. Yeah. Even in the in the line, they were trying to cut. Yeah. I said, there ain't nowhere to cut. Got you know, you have a driveway, people gotta come out, and yeah. people gotta go in, and you have people need little cars trying to duck in front of oh man. I said, yeah. I said, yeah, well we may need to move off this corner. <laughs> For sure. In case 
So I'm just getting ready to go back. Yeah. It did. All right. All right. Uh, is this Kyra Mac Lauren? Yes. All right. Um, she had two cysts on her bladder and had surgery on Tuesday. And how is she recovering? Okay. All right. Well, we're going to move okay into excellent. Amen. 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 He is the God that healeth. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tell you all the time, my words are important. Healeth is a continuous process. He just doesn't heal once. Right. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. Now he just heals me, but he healeth means yeah. that in case something else come up, I already got a guarantee he yeah. gonna heal. Them. Yeah. He keeps on healing. There ought to be somebody in here that's been sick or going, you know that God doesn't just heal once. He heals it. And he keeps doing great things. Let us stand as we pray this morning. Good to see you, Bishop Garvey and, and Mama and First Lady. Let God and everybody that's here this morning. Father, we do thank you and glorify you for just another day's journey. We're glad about it. Thank you for sparing our life. Thank you, Lord God, for taking us over the dangerous streets of the city. Even on last evening, trying to get into our place of abode, you had angels stationed at every window and every door, keeping the wicked one out. We can have restful sleep. Yes, Thank you because you said your angels will give charge over yes, us. Yes, and we thank you that your angels have been with us all week long. Yes, seen and dangers, seen and unseen, yes. protected us even from ourselves. Yes, yes, yes. We didn't know any better, didn't see any better. You we're already there preparing the way for us. And steps have been ordered by you. And you've been light in the way. Though a good man falling seven times, he will not be utterly cast down. Thank you for lifting us up when we fail. Thank you for being our leaning post on every side. Thank you, Lord God, for just you being you and you being true to your promise. Now the names on the prayer list, the name we just received, we ask that not only you touch them, but heal them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Move through every tissue, every blood vessel, every sinew, every muscle, every fiber, because you made them. And you are the chief physician. The doctor may have a prognosis, but you have the cure. So we thank you right now for healing. And even through this, touch the family that they will see your mighty hand and all that you do in your wondrous works that you continue to perform. Bless us throughout this day and save, deliver, set free. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. Let's give God a hand of praise for healing. You may receive the praise of the Lord. We're getting ready to receive our morning offering and I thank you so much for your faithfulness and giving yes, you know, we're coming to the close of the year money gets funny for some folk and change gets strange uh, but never forsake or forget the house of the Lord Amen, uh, Amen. and that toy is broken and that one toy that that child is going to play with all day long and you got a whole bunch of gifts uh -huh. and packages under yes, the tree yes. Uh, and, and, and they go play with that one toy that they found uh, to be more amusing. I was talking to someone uh, the other day and they, uh, their child just turned a year old and said that, oh, I, I still have packages uh, from uh, last year. And I said, so when they get ready to turn two, what you gonna do, roll them over to them? Because they didn't open the first year's package. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna get 
some new stuff. I said, but you didn't open last year's. Because it was too little and they, would, they, they didn't know the significance of it. So you go buy some new ones. So you go have, you got a rollover plan. And that means yeah, yeah. you rolled over the first Christmas because they were too small, too young to understand. And you go have that group to replace for this year. But you go go shop for this year because you go do it for next year. Oh, no, that. Uh, uh, I'm going to just take them to Disneyland. I said, they go one years old. What they going to know about Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse? I said, all you going to do is take a bunch of pictures for you. That ain't for that baby. That's for you. Just say you want to go. That's all right. You want to go. You know, everybody needs to have a little fun and be a child at heart, but don't put it on the baby. Amen. Make it cheap. Ah, the baby's gonna go. The baby don't even know how to get to this thing. Amen. <laughs> and, and, anyway, just just be truthful and have some fun. Say I'm going to Disneyland because it was a part of my life I didn't get to enjoy, it. and they got some new rides, and I want to go. That's all right. It's fine. Amen. I didn't put it on when my granddaughter came. I didn't put it on her. I said, we going to Disneyland. She just happened to be the vehicle. <laughs> She's the excuse I'm using. All right. With your offering lift to toward heaven, Father, in Jesus' name, we do thank you. We bless you for this gift and giving. We thank you for something to give. And as we give it up to you, that you will take it, bless it, multiply it for the upbuilding of our kingdom, which are some 30, 60, some 100 fold. Lord, do a special blessing this week. One of those unexpected blessings, that check that's been held up. You know that it's been in the mail. Look like the mailman doesn't know your address, but Lord, you know how to get it there. Get it there by Federal Express. Get it by Express Mail. Anyway, you bless me, Lord. I'll be satisfied. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Follow the directions of the ushers. Give them some good marching music and maybe some good giving. that you can't find in Proverbs. It's very unique and very poignant in a lot of the discourses and instances and circumstances that we'll run across and face in life. And fittingly, it was written by Solomon, the son of David, the wise man he had enormous amount of wisdom and he shares it with us. It's important that we take careful account, mm -hmm. careful evaluation 
of the people that we surround ourselves with. I say this again. It's important that we take careful consideration of the people that we surround ourselves with. I'll say it one last time. It's important that we are very careful about the people that we surround ourselves with. <clears throat> there, there are people. Have you have, have you ever gone? We're moving into that season. Have you ever gone to a department store and looked at the window dressing? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not the only one. All you women and sisters in here, don't sit up here like Alice in Wonderland. I know y'all have gone window shopping. <laughs> And from the window, it took you inside. The inside, you said, oh, I'm just going to look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Man, I'm, all, all I'm doing is just going to look in. But it started at the window, and it wound up going inside. And then you went inside, and you start feeling the fabric. And you know, this oh, is just so nice. Then the next day is, I wonder how it will look on me. And you go and you have, if you have a skilled salesperson, they will come to you and, and start the process of, oh, that is just your color. Why don't you go into the waiting room or the fitting room and put it on and, and she's sitting right there Waiting, and and it, if you always notice, it's always a bunch of mirrors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every come on, Bishop. Every angle you turn to the right. Yeah, oh, That looks nice. You turn to the left. Yeah, that looks good. Well, maybe I'll try another size because I want the length to be a little longer. I, mean, I, I want it to be just a little longer. And, she, and she's already telepathically hearing you. And she says, if this is not good enough, then I have one just the, the next size up. And, 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 and you put that on and come out and then she has this big smile on it. Says, oh, that just is stunning. <laughs> those cute, those keywords. Oh, that's, oh, that just looks so beautiful on you. Yes, sir. Are you going somewhere very special? And you, no, no, no. I just, I, I just was, I just saw it in the window. Well, it had your name all over it. And you already said, I'm just looking. looking. <laughs> Wicked folks. Wicked people. You have to be careful of because they are full of compliments. Yes, yes, yes. Because they love nothing more than to see or get you in a position of misery. Yes, yes, yes. Wicked. Wicked people, wicked, wicked people loves company because they are wicked. Yeah. They don't want to see you prosper. They don't yeah. want to see yeah. you elevate. And, and they don't want they don't believe because God is blessing you right, right. that you are worthy of the blessing. Right. And they will always wicked people, All wicked right. people, they get on my nerves yeah. because they always yeah. have a tendency yeah. to want to take you back to a place where you was as wicked as they were. Yeah. Same God that delivered you, and the same God that elevated you. They don't want to take in account that God can elevate them because they want to live in their wickedness. So they say, and I'm not just talking about folk outside. I'm talking about there's some wicked folk in church. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wicked folk in church that, that, that hate the fact 
that God has his hand on you because they won't yield to him. And when you've yielded to him and they see God moving you from one place to another place and another level to another level and another dimension to another dimension, the same God that can, has lifted you can lift them. But because of their wicked heart, they always find a way to want to remind stuff in your face. If you, 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 you know, you know, I can't stand folk. I'm going to say it. I can't stand folk that always want to wash your face with your past mistakes. Huh? They, they, they always want to see you feel less uh, less than them. They, they have to, as, as, as a good friend of mine, God bless him and, 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 and keep him, uh, DJ Rogers would say, uh, why you want to blow out my candle so yours can shine bright? They, 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 they won't, they, they won't, they, they won't take in consideration what you've been through. Exactly, exactly. And how hard it's been for you to get to where you are. Yeah. And, and, and now that God is turning the corner and you start to see the light, they want to come yeah. and pull the curtain down on your show. Yeah. 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 So envious, evil, wicked people yeah. Yeah. that always have a tendency to all, why are you so busy in my business? That's right. That's right. Don't you have enough business of your own? It takes 24-7, 365, whatever amount of hours in a day, in a year, to keep me. Let alone worry about what you're doing. That's right, that's right. Hallelujah. That's right. So I'd rather say it like this, Lord, keep my soul from day to day under the blood. Take me down in fear and, and, and sin away. Under the precious blood. Yeah. I don't have time to sit back there and wonder what you're doing over there. Whatever you're doing over there, you stay over there. Because I've got enough business right here yeah. to worry about and to deal with. Whatever you're doing, however you're doing, wherever you're doing, Lord bless you. Keep on doing what you're doing. But stay out of my business. And if you don't have anything to say good or contribute, don't say nothing. We have people that are gifted and have, have marvelous gifts, but they frustrated because they're not at the place of pinnacle they think that they need to be. And it's all about God's plan. It's all about God's time. It ain't about your time. When God decides to move you, he will move you. But be in a place of his direction so you can be moved. Ain't nothing worse than being out of place and God came knocking by, passed you by. We say pass me not on general safety, but we gotta be in a place where when God is passing by, we'll see him. Come on, Bartimaeus, where were you at? I was on the side of the road. And I couldn't see him, but I knew he was there. You, sometimes you you'll never see God, but you can feel him. You know that He's right there. You can you can look out and see God is working. He's doing something in my life. I, I, he's moving some things and some people out of my life. I see the direction He's going. Yeah, they said I'm not gonna do it because they said they said I'm not qualified. But when God says I'm being elevated, there ain't nothing that nobody can say or do to stop you. Come on, somebody, help me this morning. When God is getting ready to elevate you, I don't care who got the PhD. If the job was for you, God's going to make sure you get in that seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No sense of fussing and fighting and cussing and carrying on behind something that God is going. And if your steps, if you believe the word of God that said, my steps have been ordered by the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm on the menu. That's what I am. I'm on the menu. I'm on the menu. God has ordered my step. I don't know when he gonna ask for me to be in this position, but he's already ordered. I'm looking at this ship, this this ship, sheep right here. It's a menu. It said turkey, 
Yeah. Dressing and gravy, fried cabbage, mac and cheese, yams, greens, brisket and ham. It's on the menu. Yeah. Yeah. Now all you got to do is put yourself in a position because it also has banana pudding and peach cobbler to come in there. And you can order that by the pan or by the little scoop. But you got to know it's already on the menu. It's up to you to be in position to get it. I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm, 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 they, they owe this to me. Don't nobody owe you nothing, baby. Amen, amen, amen. Nobody owes you nothing. Amen. Uh, what is owed is your life to Christ. That's what is owed. If anybody is in debt, as I'm indebted to the Lord Jesus Christ. For all the marvelous things that he's done for and to and through me, I am greatly indebted to him. Tell him how the nerve the nerve. Tell God what he ought to do and what he should do. And tell God when he's going to do it. The Bible didn't tell you to order God. It said ask. And it shall be given. Seek and you shall find not. And the door will be open. But, but if you're standing up there with your jaws all tight and you're swollen up because you feel that you uh, 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 owe something, it's not going to happen. Hallelujah. Solomon says, the wicked flee when ain't nobody after them. The wicked flee. And they're running from who? <laughs> themselves. Yeah. They're running from themselves. Mm -hmm. They will run from themselves because their intent and motive was wicked. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah. Uh, there's some there's some people that have plotted and and set traps yeah. for you hoping. I told you yeah. last Sunday about Haman. He 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 he, he prepared gallows for Mordecai the Jews and he wound up swinging from the gallows that he prepared for somebody else. Wicked, wicked folk are just like that. They will lie on you for no reason. They will create confusion for no reason. They will be as deceptive and they will be very, very, very deceitful. In order to keep the focus off of themselves and put it on you. And then have people thinking that it's you with us all the time, them, because they want what you have and don't have enough sense to wait and ask the same God that gave it to you to give it to him. And you know what the worst thing about deceitful people mm. and wicked people? Mm. They have a charm about themselves. Yes, Lord. Like a like a snake. Yeah. You know. They have uh, yeah. I, and I've never understood this. What, what is the benefit in charming a snake that you know will bite you? Ah. Ah. You know, they have they have this thing that all oh, come out to the fair and see the snake charm. I don't want to see no, first of all, I don't want to see no snake. Me either. Let alone somebody that has the ability to charm a snake, so then I start looking at you. If you can charm a snake, then something wrong with you. I know the snake will bite, but now I'm starting looking at you. You got some things blowing out your mouth and you're gonna bite me too. And, 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 it, and it doesn't have to be Things physically, right. the things that come out of their mouth. Yes, yes, amen. Oh, yeah, you, you, you've heard, and you, all of us, all of us, say all of us. All of us. Not just you, but all of us all have of us. been victims of being charmed by a snake. Hallelujah, hallelujah, And you know what? Snakes don't have to be people on the outside. Sometimes you got snakes in your own house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wonder why things just not right. You know, the, 
Yeah. 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 Have you ever walked into your house and there was a heaviness? Yeah. 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 It just didn't feel right. So now, when I left this morning, my house felt light, but I came in here uh, this afternoon or this evening and it's just a heaviness. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, even with the light on, it doesn't seem like it's bright in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You turn on the lights in the room and it still seems gloomy. You look and say, well, I, I know I put a 60 watt bulb in here, but that it still is. seems like it's a 40. Yeah, yeah. And I ain't talking about the drink. <laughs> 40 watt bulb, let me clear that up. So I, I, I won't make some, yeah, somebody say, oh, overseer was talking about a 40. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he got a 40 in his house. No, I don't drink 40s. That ain't it. That ain't it. And if that's your taste, then God bless you. No. I, I, I don't do no. I'm on a 40 watt bulb. And the house doesn't seem quite bright because wickedness is in there. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and please be careful. As, yeah. as I close, please be careful even on your job. Yeah. yeah. Yes. There are wicked people yes, that don't want to see you advance. Right. Right. Yeah. Have you ever run into nitpicky people? Uh, yeah. 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 They nitpick everything. When you walk in, yeah. why'd you wear that today? Yeah. It ain't none of your business. You didn't buy it. I didn't answer. I didn't answer. Oh, shoes. They look okay, but I wouldn't have worn with that outfit. It's not your outfit. They're not your shoes. And they show not your feet. I wore these because my feet was hurting. Since you want to know all my business, I wore these shoes because my feet were hurt and they were comfortable. And I knew I had a lot of work to do because there's nothing worse than going to work sitting down uncomfortable. You're thinking about everything but what your workload is. Maybe I'm the only one that had that experience. I, 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 I had these shoes and they was, I, I loved them. They were just. And, and I guess I was wrong because I, I wore those shoes and wore the shoes, but I didn't take careful account about the shoes and, and the heel broke. Amen. Oh, <laughs> it don't just break for women, my heel broke too. Amen. Yeah. Amen. yeah. Amen. Uh, one of the most embarrassing situations that I had was I was at a, a mutual friend's funeral this year uh, uh, and was leaving out of the service and and, and I heard this flopping, and I was like, what? Just went on. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm walking in here, just flip, flip. I said, I don't have no taps. What's, what's going on with this shoe? And so I, I, I eased on. You know, you, you can't lift up the foot, you gotta ease it up. I had to slide in and I went, I went around the corner where there wasn't nobody looking, you know, over, over by the car and I'm leaning in my foot. The heel went bloop. And I said, oh my God, I'm way out here and I don't, what am I going to do? And I, and I looked and I, I tried to put it together. I tried to put it back in the same hole where the nails were. And, and I put it in there and, 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 and as soon as I got uh, where I thought and I raised up and I, 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 I stepped down and I knew something wasn't right and I looked back and the hill was behind me and, and now the nail is, is all bent and crooked so I'm sitting up there uh, I, I told it was me and Lacey was together and I, I went and I sat in the car and I tried to straighten out the nail and, 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 and then uh, uh, he said, he said, Doctor, you all right? I said, yeah, yeah, man. He said, well, I got to go to Walmart. I said, which one are you going to? So he said, I'm going to one on 190. I said, good, I got to run across the street to the store right there on 190. He, he went to Walmart on 190. It was across the street from, from the uh, three-day suit broker. So while he was in the store, I slid on across the street. <laughs> and I went and got me a pair of shoes and, and, and I put them on. And when I was sitting in the car, he, he looked over and said, Don't look like the same shoes you had on. 
So I don't got to get a sale on the I decided to go and get a pair of shoes over there. And the reason why I'm saying that because I knew there was some wicked folk yeah, yeah. at the funeral yeah. that couldn't yeah. wait to see because they, they always, uh, even though I know they compliment me about my dress, I know that they hate me too. Yeah, yeah. I ain't that big a fool to think that everybody loves time. Yeah. And I knew that if they saw that broken heel, it would hit the airwaves before the man would get to the cemetery. And I told the Lord, if you just get me to a store, I'll buy me another pair of shoes. And I'll never let them see or know that I have a bad heel. Because everybody that smiles in your face ain't your friend. You gotta know that sometimes the Lord will take you like he said in the book of Psalms 23. He will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. But he also will not allow the enemy to overtake you. And I got on out of that place with a broken heel but a well heart. And when I got over to the store, the man said, I got a good pair of shoes for you. And I said, how much are they? He said, don't worry about it, they're on sale. And I said, give me a pair of them shoes. I put them shoes on and I took the shoes with a bad heel. And I put them in a box. But I went to the store and got me some Gorilla Glue. And I put the Gorilla Glue on that heel. And now I got two pairs of shoes. But every time I look at that shoe that broke that heel, I want to tell the Lord, thank you. Oh, 
never had an empire. Why? Because I serve the King of Kings. Come on and give God a praise somebody. The world is bold. Last night I worked over at the forum and I saw a whole lot of bold folks. I saw a man in a lace shirt and some lace short pants wearing a thong. I said, that's bold. Uh-huh. That's bold. And stood boldly in line with his hands on his hip and looked around as if to say, I dare you to say anything to me. Yes, sir. Bold. I saw another. I, I, me and my coworker have yet to discover if it was a male or female. Yeah. And I'm not bashing, I'm just saying how bold yeah, yeah. they are. Yeah. If they're that bold in believing what they do and is right, how come we sit in the corner and won't tell nobody that I serve a risen Savior? Yeah. Yeah. He's in this world today. Yeah. I know that he's living no matter what men may say. I see his hand of mercy. Yeah. I hear his voice of cheer. And every time I need him, he's always, always, he's always near. He lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me. And he talks with me. Long's life narrow way. He walks with me and talks with me. Sometimes I've, I've, I've discovered just recently, it ain't bad walking by yourself. Because when you're walking by yourself, there's no interruption and you can just talk to the Lord and he can talk to you. So now I do more walking. Lord, what are you saying today? I need to hear from you. And when I walk, I don't walk in being timid. I'm stepping bold. I ain't trying to be no bully, but I'm stepping bold because I know who I am. I'm a child of a king. So when I walk, I walk like a king's child. And, and you don't have to say nothing. I've seen while I'm just, just walking, I don't have the mean mug. I'm not even thinking about people, but I see people jumping out the way, getting out the way. And somebody said, Mosley, I knew that was you by the way you walk. I said, how was I walking? He said, you walking like you had a million dollars. I said, it's on the way. See, I ain't going to change when it get here. I'm already going to be walking like I got it. You got you got it? No, I ain't got nothing right now, but it's on the way. So I'm going to walk like it's here. So when it gets here, y'all gonna say, ah, oh, he changed. No, I ain't changed. Yeah. I'm still me. You just got a million dollars. Yeah. I just, I just changed. Cause you said I changed. But I'll be the same. I'm not gonna change. Cause a million dollars ain't a whole lot of money no more. Yeah. Now you said 10 million. Then you get your attention. But then you say a hundred million, now you got my direct attention. Because that's the money. Yeah. You saw what Chris Brown just did the other day? Yes, sir. He, he had a yard sale. So don't act like yard sales don't work. Just we just not Chris Brown. We see the road. December 7th, we having a yard sale. So don't act like it's oh, I ain't no yard sale. Chris Brown had a yard sale to the point that people wanted to tell. They wanted to to stop. They sat out there from 4 o'clock in the morning. Chris Brown. And it's the same Chris Brown that y'all talked about. Because he stopped Rihanna. Yeah. After she stopped him yeah. in the car yeah. in Hancock Park. Same Chris Brown. But I'm saying Chris Brown had a folk lined up at four in the morning yeah. at his house. Yeah. 
for a yard sale. And what was even more amazing about it, people don't know all that stuff he wore. That stuff was on the tour. And he put it in his house and he said, I might want to get rid of it because I'm getting some more stuff. He get ready to go back on tour. So you got to move some stuff out in order to move some stuff in. Yeah, that's right. that too because in your house, you got some stuff you ain't worn in 20 years in your house so that you can move that new stuff in. You can't even get in your closet. Some of y'all push back this to get in the closet, push on this side, push on that side and get one little piece right down there. So if you get rid of some of that stuff, you can walk in your closet freely and then God will start replenishing. He can't put nothing in there that's too crowded, baby. Let it go. Let it go. How many of us, I said to us, how many of us have had stuff and said, oh, I'm going to go on this diet because I love this color and it just looks so good on me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to lose 20 pounds and get back in it after Christmas. That's going to be my New Year's resolution. I'm going to get into that dress. 20 years later, you're still getting in it. Somebody else could be using it and it'd be a blessing. To, for I went and had some stuff and I moved and I, I, I told this lady that had a halfway house. And all these men, every time they say, man, that should look good, man, that, yeah, that's nice, that's nice. So when I got removed, I put all this stuff, shoes, suits, coats, everything uh, that I, and I said, here. And she came over and instead of her just saying thank you, that's a shame that a man would have all of that. You didn't buy it. Yeah. I'm giving it to you to be a brother to somebody else, and you will bless you guys. It's a shame that you had all that. Woo! All that, that's the same, that's the same. I said, uh, one or two things can happen. One or two things can happen. You can take these clothes and bless these men. Yeah, yeah. Or I'm gonna take it to the goodwill and ain't nobody gonna get nothing but folk at goodwill. And they gonna make money off of it. So she still, she, she, you know how y'all do, y'all fuss and mumble, but take it at the same time. So she fussed and mumbled and grabbed it up and went out the door and said, thank you. So now, I'm preparing for the next group. Because I got some stuff in storage that's been in storage and it's sitting there. So I'm going to go in storage and I'm going to gather some stuff and I'm going to give it to some people. That's me. Shirts, I ain't gonna wear no more. Oh, yeah. I got some shoes, I ain't gonna wear no more. Oh, yeah. And whether they gave it or ostrich or whatever, right, I right, give it away. Right, right. I can't wear but one pair at a time anyway. Right, that's right. So why not be a blessing? I, I, I see the people on the street, the homeless. shelter, yes. the need clothes. Yes. The winter's coming. I do believe we're going to have a very cold winter. Yes. So why not be a blessing to somebody and do like what Jesus said. Yes. When I was hungry, yes. you didn't feed me. Yes. When I was naked, you didn't clothe me. Yes. When I was in prison, you didn't visit me. Yes. I don't yes. want that to be on my resume. That's right. That's right. I don't want that to be on my resume that when I stand before the righteous king and judge, that he said, all the things that you had, you could have given away. That's right, that's right, that's right. And you held on to them for what? Well, I don't want that to be on my resume. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for boldness today. The wicked will run when nothing is following them. But we need to be bold as a lion. Lion is fearless. He does not back down and engage in battle. He fights for his territory. And that's why he has the title of the king of the beasts. Let us be kings in the kingdom. Fighting for justice. Fighting for righteousness. In Jesus name. Thank God and amen. 
give God praise, give God praise. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. How many truly enjoy the word this morning? Give God a hand clap and give for his word today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And let's give the messenger a hand if we love him. Let's give our own seat a Amen. Our bishop, amen. Let's just love on him for a quick second. 